Question 44. An electric sander has a continuous belt that rubs against a wood surface as shown schematically below. The sander is 100% efficient and draws a current of 9 ampere from a 120 volt power. The belt speed is 10 meter per second. If the sander is pushing against the wood with a normal force of 100 newton, the coefficient of friction is most nearly which of the following? Since the bottom part of the belt is moving to the right, let assume there exists a force F acting in the right direction. Apart from this force, since the belt is pressing against the wood surface, there will also be a frictional force due to the normal force. In response to the motion of the belt at the bottom, the frictional force will act in the left direction. Recall that the speed of the belt is constantly 10 meter per second, this means the net force on the belt is zero. This implies that the magnitude of the force F is equal to the magnitude of the frictional force. In order to find the coefficient of friction, we then need to know F but it is not given. Instead, we are given the voltage and current of the system, so we can calculate the power of the system. Remember power is work done per unit time, while work done is force times distance, we can further express power as force times speed. Hence, with known power, and also with the given speed, we can find out the value of F and hence the value of friction. Finally, the last step is to express friction as the product of coefficient of friction and the normal force, and then we can calculate the coefficient mu to be 1.08. The closest value to it is 1.1, so the answer is D.